Hey girl, hey Wednesday. Yes, it is. Welcome, welcome to Wednesday. Is the week's half over? Almost. By the end of the day, it will be anyway. <laughs> and it is hey girl, hey. You know, I got my cup mm, and it's full of warm, nice coconut smelling coffee. You gotta love that. I love the smell of that coconut and mocha. Mm, it's so good. And it's a Walmart brand of all things. It's a great, great brand. Hey, I forgot to put Marine on over here. So, I hope you guys are doing good this morning. We are going to try to do some fuller lips. And it's, it's a technique that uh, I tried last night and I loved it. Hey, Cindy, good morning. Good morning, Randy. And the lips are, you know, starting to do the downward turn. So, there, she, I watched Allie Art. And um, she had this wonderful lip routine. Hey, Reenie, good morning. <laughs> I'm kind of like still asleep. You know what I mean? I'm not quite awake. I'm not quite awake. I haven't had a full cup of coffee yet. I've only had about three sips of this. So it hasn't kicked in. But it will in a minute. It will. It will kick in. Because it is so good. It is so good. Hey, Tia. How you say your name? Gina, Giania, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to put your name. Hey, Lori, good morning. So this is a trick that Allie Art did uh, on her YouTube channel. Hey, Callie, good morning. And um, for those of you who, I, I did a different eye look this morning. I kind of played around. I, I found this older shirt that I've had for a while, and I haven't worn it. And I love it, and it ties on the side, and I thought I would just, good morning, Melissa, another Melissa, ha, 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 I like that. Um, and I hadn't worn it in a long time. I mean, I've had it since I worked with State Farm, and that's been a while. <laughs> that's been a while ago, so, hey, Carol, good morning. So, hey, Shonda, y'all are all popping on here. I just need to wait a few minutes, Donna. Hey, other Melissa, <laughs> hey, Charmaine. <laughs> and it's a cute shirt. It is, um... And girls, I went like old school. I got little flare jeans on, and because uh, this week is is um, employee appreciation week or whatever, so we can dress down. We don't have to, you know, dress up all the time. But I love the shirt. <laughs> but it's like uh, you start good with your last name, say Gianu, Gianu, G, G. <laughs> Girl, I ain't good with that. <laughs> Gianni, Gianni. Okay. I think, is that right, Gianni? I hope I got it right. But this is, it ties on the side, and I just thought it was the cutest, cutest thing ever. And it's got, it just has a little band around it, and it just kind of fits right over your jeans. So it's really, really cute. And then I got this sweater in case I get cold at work, because it always is kind of cool at times during the day when the air kicks on, and it's gonna be like almost 90 here today, I think. Hey, Arlene. So, and I did get something else new too. I know I'm bouncing around. I hadn't got to the lips yet. But this came in yesterday, and it's my Strivectin Volumizing Hand Cream. So, I thought I would share that with you. Um, it was $29. I got it on Amazon. I don't know if you can see it. The light's kind of crazy. But that's it. It's a hand cream. So, it's volumizing. And I thought, well, that might be good for my hands. Um, body uh, Beauty by Ann suggested it, so I thought I would get it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna start using it today. I haven't used it yet, so let me see how creamy it is on your hands. Now she swears by it. Um, I want to see if I get any benefits out of this. I really do. I think I think it's just. Ah, oh, Arlene, you're from South Korea. Well, welcome, girl. What time is it there? Are you into the next day? Because this is Wednesday here in the United States. So, hey, Nancy. Welcome, welcome. Please, uh, Arlene, send me a friend request. Um, I'd like to add you to the group. We are on here pretty much every morning and on Thursday nights at 7. <laughs> you at uh, Central Standard Time. So, oh my gosh, this is very creamy. I'm hoping, she said that it helps with brown spots too. So, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking. See, see all these lines? I didn't used to have, I got a lot of blue, got a lot of blue lines running through here lately. And I know that the volume is going to go away, I mean, when you're aging. But why not try this and give it, give it some help? And so, there you go. Strivectin Volumizing Hand Cream. Now, she uses it every morning and every night. Um, it is Tuesday, May 9th. So, you're... Okay. Tuesday, May 9th? 
because today is May 9th here, and it's Wednesday. I'm confused. <laughs> I confuse myself, and it's not really, it's not really hard to do, girl. It's not really hard to do. Okay, one more sip of coffee, and then we're going to talk about these wonderful lips. Hey, Mary, what's up, girl? Are you feeling any better? We're getting up, getting around. I was thinking about you yesterday. <laughs> in fact, you're still in Maine. You need to come back to Alabama. That's why you need to come back. Come back to Alabama. It's Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. Yeah, it is Wednesday. Okay, so now I got it. That makes it... <laughs> hey, girl, I don't know what day it is either half the time. Hey, Beth. Hey, Linda. So let's talk about these lips. Now, what she did was she used concealer or she said you could use foundation. But I'm going to use concealer, and I'm going to use concealer the same color as my foundation, which is taffeta. It might just be a tad lighter, but that's okay, because in the end, I can come back and touch it up with a little bit of this. Um, or I could come back and touch it up with, you know, whatever brush I used when I get done. So, it's warm in Maine now. Aren't you happy? Hey, girl. Hey, Beth. And this is, this is taffeta. So, I may touch it up with this. Now, I've only done this once, and I did it last night, and it worked really well. So let me find taffeta. I should have had this out already. This is taffeta. See, I've got three different concealers, three different ones, and you can see the difference in the shades. Um, and then this one is chiffon. So this is chiffon. It's just a shade darker, and it has a little more pink hue to it, and these are more neutral. This is taffeta, and then that's velour right there. So I'm going to use taffeta, and we're going to come and use taffeta. So this is what she did, and you also need a pencil like this. I use this. Now, she used a little light pen, some kind of highlighter pen, but she said you could use a pencil also. Uh, so I chose this Maybelline since I already had it, and it's more of a flesh color, and I didn't want white, white coming up my face, so I opted for a more neutral color. And so she said just try whatever you have. And, and this is supposed to help. See the downward turn lines as we age? You look at my mouth. See? It's going down. It's going south. <laughs> and so this is supposed to help that. It's supposed to help it not go south or not look like it's going south. But the first thing that she did was she took concealer and she put it all over her lips. And just like this. All over. Kind of like that. Kind of neutralizes your lips. And it also kind of neutralizes the corners there. It's, I thought it was a cool concept. Now, you could use foundation if you want to. Um, I just chose to use what she did. But she did suggest that you could wear, you could use, um, you could use like just a regular foundation over your lips. So you could do that too. But, you know what? You can use this as a primer on your lips anyway. So, hey, Belinda, what day is it for you, girl? You're a day ahead, right? You're a day ahead of us. You're into, like, the next day. We're coming into the day you just finished. I think that's right. Is that the way it is for Australia? I can't get my hemispheres correct <laughs> at all today. Okay, so you see how that neutralized everything? All right, so what I'm going to do, what she did well, she came back and she said, take a lighter pencil and something very really light, like a highlighter pencil if you have it. Hey, Brittany. And what she did was she came to the corners and uh, you can already see that my lips don't look like they're downward turned as much. Just by putting that little light around there, that that's what this is going to create. And you're going to start by creating a line that goes straight up. And then we're going to kind of blend it out. But it's going to give you the light you need to get the effect of it going up. So this is something she said Marilyn Monroe did. So if Marilyn Monroe did this and she didn't normally have big, voluscious lips, they created those by doing this. That's what she said. Now, you can go over the top if you want to. I strictly kind of stayed in the realm of just, okay, this is, this is you know, my lips. And... I have a bigger bottom lip than I do a top lip. So I focus more on the top lip. And that's what you're doing here. You're focusing more on the top lip. It's Wednesday night. Nine p okay, just got home from my daughter's gymnastics. Oh, I love gymnastics. Hogan does gymnastics. I'm a big cheerleader person, if y'all didn't know. I 
love cheerleading. I love to watch when they go to competition. <laughs> it's so much fun. Just I cannot believe what the girls can do when they get together and they just get going. And the music is fabulous too. And then they do a cheer in the middle of their little routine. So start kind of down in this area and you want to start going and draw the line upward. That's what she did. She drew the line upward at an angle kind of. And you just have to kind of figure out your face. And then I came back and just kind of lightly, lightly, lightly blended that out. So, thank you. It's kind of Asian-like. Um, I love it. I don't even know where I found it. Um, is it Irene? I, I don't know where I found the top, but I love it. It has kind of an Asian flair to it. But it's one I haven't worn in a while. <laughs> Love cheerleaders too. You as a cheerleader. Not me too. Can you imagine me as a cheerleader? Ah. Yeah. I was not shy if that was the case. You can't be shy and be a cheerleader. I just have fun with it. I coached cheerleading for about three years with the young girls. Um, they were the... <sighs> What your age? Not eight, nine, ten, eleven year olds. Oh, there was so much fun. Hey, Dana. Okay, so that has helped not have so much of a downturn line. That's all she said do with this, and you can just kind of create the light you want. But she drew it straight up, and she had it a little longer. But I didn't think mine needed to go that <laughs> that high. It's wacky, wild, wacky Wednesday. Hey, are y'all having food? I think we're having food today. Today's Wednesday. Yes, I think we're having food today. Uh, pizza or something for Employee Appreciation Week. That's going to be fun. I got to have some of this. Sorry. My brain said coffee all of a sudden. All right, so there you have your light going up. Now, I'm going to use a very neutral color, which is pouty. Uh, you can use red if you want to have a red iconic lip. You can. You can do a medium red. But Lister's going to stay in the neutral zone because I, I need to be in the neutral zone. <laughs> I need to be in the And I've already sharpened this, so it's ready to go. So what she did was she started here. She, she's talking about the corners of your mouth and how you need to start at the corners of your mouth to build the, the volume in your top lip. Now, and then she did the bottom lip last. So that's what I'm going to do too. And then I'm going to fill in my whole entire lip with a pouty. And then I'm going to add um, probably a little bit of splurge right in the center, victorious. And then we're going to top it off with just a tad of a lip gloss that you that haven't seen me use in a while, which is Lux. Lux is the perfect nude lip gloss. And it's what I started off with. So look at my lips. They're not full. I have a little fullness like right here, but literally mine comes straight down on the side. So I'm building the sides and that's what she did. But she said, start here in the corner and you just kind of do, kind of like you would do your eye. You know how you do your eye here in the corner where you come in and you do your little corner V, outer V? That's what we're doing. So she said, start there. And if you want to elongate your lips, you can at this point. You can take it out more. I'm not going to do that because, you know, I don't need my lips. I don't need them wider. I just need them plumper. <laughs> you almost missed me. Dang, don't do that. Hey, Lori. So what she said is I, you build a little bit above your natural line here in this corner. So that's what I'm doing. And we're going to do it on both sides. And then you're going to fill it in. This girl is a genius. I love watching her. Hey, Carrie. She is a genius with makeup. And she and I have sort of like the similar face. And she has a smaller face. And we have similar eyes. So it's really easy for me to follow her and learn from her. Hey, Marlene. Have a great day. Get off to get ready for work. Oh, come back and catch it. Come back and catch it because this is fun. My lips are going to be uh, crazy looking when I get done. Not crazy looking, but different. But you have to start in the outer corner. So I'm working on the outer corner here. Now, if you are going to elongate it, she did suggest that if you want the separation there, you come back and add a little light, which I'll show you how to do that. I'm not going to elongate mine. I'm just building on that outer corner. You see? 
I'm starting on the other. It looks kind of crazy. I know. I thought that at first too. I was like, uh, how is this going to turn out? <laughs> but what you have to do is start. And then I came back up here to the top. And I started working the top part. So I got my corner part started on this side. I probably need to bring this one out just a tad more. But pouty is a good neutral color if you want to try to do this. If you have pouty. Um, and then you can work into like brighter colors when you perfect it. For me, the nude colors are the best. But see, you can already see I'm going up above my natural lip. This is what she did. This is what she said Marilyn Monroe did. So why not? And it's buildable. You can make them bigger or not. And the whole key is connecting this to that. Whatever you create is connecting. So come on up with that natural line. And it's gonna be hard for me to talk and do this at the same time. Because that's what I was doing last night. My husband thought I was crazy. He said, what are you doing? I said, I'm learning. I'm learning how to make bigger lips. So it's already starting to take shape. <laughs> I got tickled when I got done. I was like, wow, that is amazing. And it looks so natural. That's what I loved about it. Now, you can't go over the board crazy with making it up. So you're going to have to test it with your own lips. But what I did was I started... And I just worked it out a little more and then brought it down. I'm watching myself. But see, I've already created the depth over here that I needed. And you're really just going to have to play with this. But it absolutely works. It works. It's pretty amazing how it works. Now I'm going to do the bottom. Start down here and connect it right up. And I am overlining the bottom just a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying, Pam. I'm trying. So if you were going to a wedding and you wanted to have a fuller, poutier lip or something like that, I think this would be a great trick to use, especially in pictures. And... It's not going to make your lips turn down because I got all that light. See, I'm already seeing a difference in my lips. I don't, they're not going downward now. And that's what that light creates going up. So it creates the illusion of lift. And this creates the illusion of having a bigger lip. Mm, it's getting there. And now I'm going to come back and do just a little bit more up here. Because I, I went and actually looked at pictures of Marilyn Monroe. And she really did have a nice Cupid's bow. And then she drew her lines down. And you may have to use your finger to kind of smooth some of it out. But if you run these together and you want to keep your lips separated, this is what she said do. She said, take your uh, lighter pencil that you used to create the original lines and you come right in here and put just a little light and so it gives you the illusion of your lips being separated. So I tried that too and that kind of works because I don't want mine elongated at all. We're not doing elongated lips. I don't think that would look good on me. I have a little face. I can't imagine making my lips wider. I just want to make this top lip plumper. That's my whole goal. So here we go. Let me go up here and let's get these lines exactly right. Come down. And I was so shocked last night when I got done with this. So you're going to fill in. I'm going to fill in everything. And I have a top lip. It's amazing. And I have a booger, boog, boog, booger, <laughs> a bigger bottom lip. That's so funny. A bigger bottom lip. Now, you got to sit back and look at it and make sure it's correct. You can always come back 
and draw those lines, fill it in. Because the great thing about these is that they set in like 30 seconds. So this is not going to smear, smudge, or anything like that on your face. But it does give you the illusion of having a bigger lip. So I'm going to come just a tad more on this side. You have to look at it. You gauge it in the mirror. Then you sit back and look. So my lips are a lot bigger. Mm. I don't have pouty lips. <laughs> I don't. I'm going to draw a line across here just a tad. Because I don't want that big of a cupid's bow. So you can kind of fill it. And if you wanted to have no cupid's bow, you could probably come straight across if you wanted. And that would give you a really uh, plump, plump lip. So the next thing that I did, and now she didn't do this. This is something I added. Good morning, Patty. I added uh, Victoria's Splurge Cream Shadow. Just because I like ombre. And I think the ombre kind of makes your lips look a little bigger anyway. So put a little light. Like this is a matte nude eyeshadow. But yes, you can use it on your lips. And I also did it up here. Just a little bit. Right in the center. So if you want to try this, I thought it was a cool trick that she did. So I have a lot bigger lips. Now I'm not going like crazy over it. Hey Davina! I'm not going crazy with the lips. Now you can do what you want to. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could have a bigger lip up top and not have the turned down look. So if you feel like you still have the turned down look, come back and you can add a little bit more of the lighter color. You can definitely come back and go, oh, I need a little more lift right through here. Because all you're doing is getting rid of that shadow at where it's coming down, okay? Just come back through there and blend it in. And see, I'm not going downward anymore. <laughs> I like this trick. <laughs> I do. Now, would I, would I take the time to do this every day? Probably not. But I have a much bigger topper lip, and I like that. Is, now, will it the staying power of it all day? Uh, I'm thinking it might stay. I might have to touch it up at some point. But now let's put on some Lux. This is Lux. Well, maybe let's do the powder first before I put on the gloss. Let's do the powder. So this is my taffeta. And this is the little brush that comes with it. And so you could eat, I mean, a foam, foamy pad that comes with it. And then you can just go around and kind of touch it up if you want around so you got too much of the white somewhere and you just touch it up around your face because that's what I'm wearing is taffeta I'm wearing taffeta liquid foundation but this you can also you know use this if you have the pressed powder to kind of touch up areas so now I would put my Lux on and Lux I'm only going to put it in the center I'm not going to put it all over my lips only right here in the center because guess what light makes things come forward. So, I'm putting the little light sheen right here in the center. And it should give me a much bigger lip. So, I'm totally different than where I started. <laughs> Whatever happened to those powder lip glosses? Oh, I still have them. They just, you know, sometimes they'll, they'll try and experiment with something and um, they may bring them back or whatever. Uh, I haven't used them that much. Uh, simply because, you know, I like lip liners a lot. Because lip liners will stay on my lips longer during the day. And I just really like lip liners. You can create all kind of looks like this. So, hmm, I've got a bigger topper lip. I do like it. I could have made it bigger. I don't, I don't want it to be too over the top. But I think my lip looks better. Just outlined above my natural lip just a little bit. I, I, I don't want uh, Angelina, Angelina Jolie lips. <laughs> that would be nice, but I don't think I would look good with lips that big. So that's my tip for you today. Try it. I used simple products. I used Pouty. This is a Maybelline. I don't even know what color it is. 
It's just a Maybelline nude. Um, it's actually an eyeliner. But, I'm, you know, you can use it here for the light. I like the fact that putting that light right there with this helps it not look like everything's going down. Because when I started, it was definitely a downward turn. This helps lift it up. You can get bigger lips just by using a, a, a simple color like Pouty. And just a little bit of lip gloss like Lux, which is a very neutral color. And then I did add a little ombre with Splurge Cream Shadow Victorious. So, there's my lips tutorial today. <laughs> Filler lips, that's right. You, it, I, and you know what? It actually works. And you just have to kind of play with it. Um, it took me a few minutes of what I had to kind of go back and forth with the video to catch every little detail that she was talking about. And then I would go back and I would try it. And then I would go back and look at her video. And then I just kind of progressed with it along with her. Because she was doing hers at the same time. So I was trying to emulate her. So learn from the best. Allie Art. She's awesome. So would you Maybelline? Oh, I have to come back. Concealer. I think if you wanted to use foundation, you could use foundation instead of concealer. I use the concealer. I think concealer adds a little more... Um, if, you, if you cover coverage and it also gives the lip liner something to adhere to better because um, foundation you need to you, you know it's not as tacky say as a concealer so I think it will stay on longer if you use the concealer that's just my look on it so oh my eyes today um, I have on I created this this morning I, I looked at I was knew I was gonna wear green and so I want to incorporate green into my look but this is what I have on right here I have on antsy astute inconceivable and fervent and those are my colors today so they're really kind of pretty and what I did was I mixed um, I put inconceivable here right above the pupil and then I put antsy in the corner and then of course I came in with my iridescent uh, a la mode I'll mode this one. <laughs> I picked up the wrong thing. Hey, Michelle, gosh, girl, are you feeling better? I have been so worried about you. I saw your daughter's post, and she said no texting to let you rest, so I haven't tried to bother you, but I sure do want to. I'm going to send you a message because I'm worried about you. <laughs> You've been sick for way too long, girlfriend. Hey, Brenda. So, there's your lips for today. Mm. <laughs> It does give me, I didn't go over the top with it because I would look abnormal if I got it too big. But it does give me a nice little up, upward upward lift, just a little bit. I didn't go that much above. Maybe I'll try to do that over the weekend and see what it looks like, like really overlining it. I'd probably look like a clown. <laughs> but I like the fact that I can smile and you can see my lip. See? You can actually see it. It doesn't disappear anymore. Hey, Kathy. All right, guys. I've got to get my butt to work. And um, i got to go make sure my mom takes her medicine before I leave. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope maybe you can try this. Let me know if it works for you. Um, but if you if you need a tutorial beyond me and you want to go watch um, Allie Art, she's on YouTube. And it's Allie, A-L-Y, Art, A-R-T. Just put it in the search and you can find her now. You'll have to search through all of her videos to find this. But... Um, I love it, love it. Can you stop by the shop soon? You want to see colors? Oh, I'll come back and look at it. Oh, happy hump day. Are you back to work, Michelle? Are you back to work or are you still at home? Um, I miss talking to you. She's my State Farm buddy. We were State Farm friends. We've been friends a long time. <laughs> hey, Katie. All right, I got to get off of here. I will see you guys. Oh, this is Wednesday, so... I'll see y'all guys tomorrow night. I've already got everything planned for tomorrow night. And don't forget now, I tried this at the beginning. If you're just popping in, I'll call you, girl. I will. Strivectin. And this is volumizing hand cream. I'm, I'm starting to use it, and I'm going to see what it does for my, my sad-looking hands now. <laughs> They're getting wrinkly. And so I'm thinking that Beauty by Ann suggested this, and I'm going to use it twice a day. Once in the morning and at night just to see if it helps plump up, plump up the volume here, and then plumping up the volume in my lips too at the same time. <laughs> All right, guys, I love y'all, and I will see y'all uh, tomorrow night. Have a great day. Bye.